Today I'm doing something that I've been meaning to do for months. I've been talking about it on Instagram, on my Instagram lives, Instagram TVs about repurposing content. I think I've even talked about it on my podcast about repurposing content. And so today I'm going to practice what I preach. I am starting the process of taking my IGTV episodes and actually putting them on YouTube. But before I can do that, I know you're wondering, well, how do you do that? That's what we're talking about today. So let me um, turn my camera around. So today's tutorial is the old school way. I'm not screen sharing. I'm showing you the whole computer. So first thing you want to do is upload. Oh, and we're using Canva today. Whoop whoop, shout out to Canva and Canva video. If you haven't checked out my tutorial on Canva's YouTube channel about how to easily edit videos inside of Canva, go check it out. Anyways, let's dive back in. So you wanna upload your video into Canva and how you do that is you have some options. You can go to, you know, if you have Apple or Mac, you can go to your movie section. You can go to your photo section. Or if you have it on your desktop, you can airdrop it. There's a few different ways if you have a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, then hey, um, you can do it through you know, Google Photos, something like that. However you can get your file to your device, your computer, your phone, do that. And today's Canva tutorial is on my computer. Okay, anyway, so I put a cute little frame around it. You don't have to put a cute little frame around it. I decided I didn't just want, like this is what the videos usually look like um, when you take them from Instagram TV to, they usually will have this ugly black bar. <laughs> it's not ugly, it's just bland. It's so bland. Anyways, and then you'll typically see this. So today I want to talk about the which irritates types people, of right? People get just get so bored. It, it's an eyesore. It just ma makes them want to tune out. So I didn't want that kind of look. So what I did was. I made just a plain white background. At first it was pink. I was like, that's going to be too girly for some folks. But I was like, let me have a white background. And then I was like, I need a frame. So over in Elements, click Frame. As you can tell, I did type in Frame. And these are cool, I guess. Like you could have it be cute in a little circle. And how you do it is you put the circle, make it big. And then you're gonna go back to uploads. I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna. You could have it like this. So that could today, be cute. I want to talk about the different. But I still want the whole rectangle, so I'm just gonna delete that. And then, okay, back to frame. So there's a lot of different frames to choose from. I'll probably use this one for another video because that is super cute. It's so my style, right? And then. You just want to literally click, drag. So. And then another way you can do it if you don't want to click and drag, you can just pop it on. So. Like today, that. Okay, not pop it on. You can just click the file and so then today, drag it like that if you want to, you know, take it a few steps off or, you know, use even less energy. But anyways, let's just stick with like a plain square or rectangle, I should say. So this is like a plain rectangle, right? It has little curved corners. And you can just, you can put in the middle, you can put on this side, you can put on that side, you can put some text. Um, you know, you can really take it to the next level. I don't know, or with Canva video, I hope they have a transcribe capability. Don't shoot me if they have one, okay? I don't know, I haven't been doing, I haven't been in here in a while to do this. But anyways, so we're learning together, anyway. You just pick the frame you want, drag and drop. And then, you know, if you have some cute stuff typed up, like your logo and your Instagram handle and your um, domain name, your URL, your website address, you know, that you want to add your name, or maybe you want to put the topic. Maybe you want to say, and so that's me copying and dragging. Maybe you have like a Motivation Monday session you do on live, right? So you might say motivation. And you know, the cool thing is you can use whatever font you want to use. That's the cool thing about Canva. You can make it as fancy or as plain as you want to. 
And so I'm just gonna keep it simple. Motivation. Monday, but I'm gonna make the Monday different. Monday. And if you wanna cut out different scenes, you're welcome, or not different scenes, different parts of your live, you can um, on so the timeline, today, you know, move it forward, move it back. I would say with a live, when you're repurposing it, just leave all the ums and ahs. Don't be one of those people that's like, let's be perfectionist, because then you're not really gonna connect with your audience. That's just my two cents, but to each his own. So that's cute. That's cute. Um, that could stay. And then if you go back to uploads, you can actually search for your logo file by name, or in Canva, there's this beautiful folder down here called logos. And so you can save yourself time putting it there. And as you can see, I have myself and a few client logos and we'll just use Rachel's for example. Not that one, obviously, because it's, ah, because it's white on white, can't see it. Let's use a black one. And then you're just gonna bring it down. I guess for this example, I'll even change this Let's see if I have one of Rachel's videos. And that's the cool thing about Canva. You can actually, you can also use stock video if you want. But anyway, you can upload your different, you know, videos. You can upload podcast episodes or snippets. You can upload pictures. So you can really have a lot of fun when you bring your Instagram IGTV video from there to here. You can have a lot of fun with it. Um, I was trying to look for one of my client, but I can't. So yeah, basically that's what you would do. And then it's saying an hour long. That's kind so of long. today, you just want to preview it, make sure it looks how you want it to look. So for this, I'll delete this page and delete that page and then I'll preview it. So today I want to talk about the different types of websites that are out there. So of course, Instagram, even though it's a social media platform, it's... So let your personality shine. There is no rules. You make your own rules, right? There is no rules. Don't over critique yourself. Just literally put it together, download it, post it on YouTube. And then if you want to take it a step further and get extra brownie points, share the video on LinkedIn. Share the video on all your other social media networks that weren't Instagram. That way you can reach more people. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.